so during the discussion on language model what we stated is we will be considering two language models you can consider writing them as md and mq respectively associated with the document and the query uh, and we will be computing the generation probability of either of the either of the document given query or query given document basically this and following the bayes theorem uh, we approximated it using probability of basically q or mq given md now in an abstract in a in a probability space these language models are what essentially they are basically indicating a probability distribution and we are basically i mean uh, we are computing this conditional probability which can approximately uh, be similar to i mean considered similar to as considering the divergence or the similarity between two probability distributions say p and q so essentially what we are doing is we are computing how similar are the two uh, language models are which is equivalent to how similar the two probability distributions are now in order to compute the similarity of a couple of probability distribution we can actually do that by computing the divergence between them that we have discussed <clears throat> so given two probability <clears throat> distributions px and qx defined in the same probability space let's say x that means all small x belongs to capital x px and qx are two probability distributions if we need to if we want to compute how diverse the probability distributions are that is how diverse px and qx are in other word how similar px and qx are what we can do is we can compute the divergence between them so which is essentially a measure of dissimilarity and which is basically inversely proportional to the similarity now considering our uh, ranking scenario what we need to do is we need to rank the document based on the similarity given a document we need to rank the documents based on the similarity to the query isn't it so essentially we need to do this we need to compute the similarity between uh the language model or in other word we can now write a probability distribution of p and the probability distribution of q this is what we need to compute and in order to compute the similarity what we will be doing is we will be computing the divergence it is the inverse of similarity again we will be computing the dissimilarity how dissimilar they are and one way to one way of computing this divergence is by using the kl divergence or kullback leibler divergence which is defined mathematically as this so kld is a short form of kullback leibler divergence between two probability distributions which is written as this 
will be equals to summation over all terms x in the large probability space x inside px is the probability or we can say the weight of the term so px note that this is small x is the weight of point x in x following probability distribution p similarly uh, qx is the weight of the same point x in x following the probability distribution q so it is summation over all those terms in the space probability of x into log of probability of x by probability of uh, pro i mean not probability of x but weight in distribution p into log of weight in distribution p by weight in distribution q now following this we can understand that scale divergence will always be non negative that is specifically it will be either zero or greater than zero so basically it will be greater or equals to zero the scale divergence of any two probability distributions now if kld of p and q is equals to zero that will be indicating that p and q are same now what does it mean having two probability distributions as same so basically for each each point in the in the space in the probability space capital x each point is having the same weight associated with the probability distribution p and probability distribution q if they are same then i mean if we write that for all the points if this is the case then it will be log of so p of x into log of px by qx if px and qx are same then it will be log of 1 which will be basically making the entire sum this this product as zero so summation over all terms all all of them will be zero so that's why the resultant kld will be zero that will be indicating that the two probability distributions are same <clears throat> another important point is scale the scale divergence are not actually symmetric so scale divergence between p and q is different from scale divergence between q and p the reason is scale divergence between q and p is will be defined as probability again the summation will be over the same uh, all the points in the same uh, probability space but it will be qx the weight in the weight following the probability distribution q by uh, into sorry log of qx by px okay now here we will be using this the scale divergence as a measurement of distance between two probability distributions so basically we will be using this to be considered as the inverse of similarity okay now for retrieval what we will be doing is as we have said we will be considering this as a probability distribution u this is another probability distribution d and from them some terms are being generated and uh, we need to compute the relevance between d and q which will be basically the similarity between d and q and that will be approximated by the scale divergence between q and d now note that this is here i am computing scale divergence between q and d note that this is okay let's first define this okay so scale divergence between the two probability distribution q and d will be the weight this is basically the probability 
following the probability distribution q of the term into log of the same term divided by probability or weight associated with the same term following the probability distribution of the document. And if we extend following log of a by b equals to log a minus log b, it will be this term into this term, uh, this term into log of this term minus this term into log of this term. Okay, which is written here. Now here, this portion highlighted here in red is basically independent of uh, independent of D. So that means it will be same for all D in the collection, which we are basically ranking. Right? Now, <clears throat> of course, we can compute this. It can actually will be give, uh, giving or producing different KLD scores, but essentially also, practically speaking, we can ignore this as well. Because although the score will be different, although the divergence will be different, but as the ultimate task of IR is basically ranking, the rank of the document will not be changing uh, if we exclude this from the uh, from being considered so approximately what we can write we can do is while ranking the document ranking a set of documents in the collection uh, follow for a given query we can simply compute summation over all words in the vocabulary minus of this term or this thing now there are two things that we want to that I want to discuss here. First thing is what is the domain of W? Practically, it is W belonging to the entire vocabulary of the collection. That is all terms in the vocabulary. As we have computed the the I mean the formally the KL divergence where X was belonging into the capital X uh, probability space. Yet W is basically belonging to, so basically W will be all the terms in the vocabulary for which we need to compute this. Okay. Now, uh, we can, of course, practically do this as well. So we can understand that the vocabulary size will be maybe, maybe. I mean, let's for the time being, let's assume that it is 1 million. But all the all the 1 million terms will not be occurring in the query. The length of the query will be what? Maybe 3 or 5. Maybe 3, 5 or maximum 10. Which is much, much less than the size of the vocabulary. And also, the document we are considering for to be ranked, it will be the, the length of which will be what? Maybe 1,000 maximum or maybe less than that. Still, it is much, much less than the vocabulary space. But if we do this, you can see the probability of all those terms which are not query terms will be getting a zero score. Isn't it? So this is basically, so if I write this thing up, so again, summation over all W in vocabulary minus of P W given I'm writing only Q here into log of P of W given let's say D. Now this can be broken up into summation over all terms in the query. This thing, same thing into log of sorry, log of probability. W given D plus we are on, only considering the query terms here. So the next summation will be for all the query terms, basically not in the query, all the terms in the vocabulary, not in the query, so minus probability of W given Q 
into log of probability of w given d. Now, as the term is not occurring in the document uh, in the query, this portion will be basically zero. So the entire thing will be basically cancelling. So essentially, we can consider this over this, but practically, we will be basically having non-zero values for only the query terms. So we can actually compute for all the query terms, basically all the terms in the query. This is the first thing. The second thing that I want to discuss is basically, as I have said, KLD of Q given D, Q and D is KLD of D and Q will be different. Theta D Theta Q. We can also compute that as well. And following that, what we'll be getting is basically so let me write that. So again, W, I'm only writing for the query terms. You know the, uh, the reason. It will be basically probability of W given uh, D. So I'm only writing D instead of theta D into log of probability of W given D by probability of W given Q. Okay. Now here will be encountering a different scenario. So if we extend this probability of w, sorry, w given d into log of uh, probability of w given d minus probability of uh, w given d into log of uh, sorry, probability of W given Q. Now here, note that this term is query independent. So here we are only computing the weight of the query of the query term in the document, and that is being, I mean, we are actually subtracting some weight from it based on it's basically this is again a weight from the document weight of the term so weight of the term w in d into the weight of the term in q but here this term is being subtracted from another thing which will be basically different for different documents of course and there is no query component are unlike this scenario where we were cancelling we were able to cancel one thing here we cannot actually cancel anything because our ultimate target is to score the document d for the query q here in both the components we have d and we have q here it is only d which we can consider as some constant for that particular document. And this part is actually independent of Q. So for any query, if we consider this document, that is for any query, if this document is containing a query word, it will be given the same weight based on the query term that we are considering. Okay. Uh, now, essentially, you can, you can see that it is, we are considering the query term, but here there is no other information that we are using uh, other than its weight in the document. <clears throat> so, if you do that, you will be getting different score and that might be a little bit uh, indicating some other, I mean, aspect or, or you, you can understand. So basically, this will be one positive value. Let's say it is say M minus so another component, say N. So together, this will be the score or the divergence or the KL divergence, right? So this will be giving 
a similar kind of a result but intuitively this is this will be not as much realizable as computing the KL divergence between the query and the document. Got it? All right, then move on. So, so again, considering this, and if we take the negative from left, right hand side to the left hand side, we'll be getting the KL divergence as this, minus KL divergence as for all the terms in the query, weight of the term in the query into log of weight of the term in the document. Now, earlier we started with saying that KL divergence is a measurement of diversity. Uh, uh, KL divergence is a measurement of dissimilarity. So here, KLD will be indicating dissimilarity. So minus KLD will be indicating the similarity. So if the two distributions are very much dissimilar, we'll be having a high value for this as it is minus. So KLD will be a high value. High value in the sense negatively high value. Right? It will be basically if we plot on the two dimensional space with uh, x axis indicating the KLD. So basically, I mean, uh, if the two distributions are dissimilar to each other, we will be basically having some negative values here. Whereas, if we use, so basically, if they are exactly same, we'll be getting this at this point, right? When P and Q are same, or or when Q and D are same, the exactly same uh, probability distribution. That is, I am searching with the content of the document itself. Then their probability distribution will be the same. Then their KL divergence will be zero. If they are dissimilar, we'll be getting a value which will be basically in the negative, the negative direction. Okay. Now, instead, if we compute the minus KLD, it will be basically indicating in this way. So, essentially, which will be can be approximated as the similarity. This is dissimilarity. Okay, <clears throat> so now moving on, so how to actually, so what this actually is indicating, scale D minus scale D of this is for all the query terms, weight of the term in the query into log of weight of the term in the document. So it, it, con it considers basically two components, sum over all words having non-zero probability following this which is basically indicating that that is w is computed for all query terms and when the term is also occurring in the document note that from our earlier venn diagram if this is q and if this is d for only the terms which are occurring both in the document and the query, this component will be giving a non-zero entity or non-zero value. So I am saying that the summation would be computed for all the terms in the query. Practically speaking, it will be basically for all the terms which is occurring in the document as well. Basically, the intersection of Q and D as well. Because if the term is occurring in the query, but not in the document, then this component will be what? Zero. And then it will be uh, basically, I mean, log of zero is something uh, that we should be ignoring here which will be basically uh, avoiding the basically the, the involvement of those terms while scoring the document using KLD. I'm repeating for all those terms 
which are occurring in the query uh, but not in the document will be basically giving this log as a log zero value because for those cases log of probability of w given theta, theta d this portion will be zero so <clears throat> it will be basically no uh, i mean no practical implication will be basically there why because our ultimate target is to score the document for this kind of a situation we will be just be adding the weight of the query term isn't it this will be basically one so we will be basically having this thing so practically speaking although i have i mean we started with considering all w in the vocabulary then we approximated it by all w over q now we are saying we will be computing for all w over q intersection d okay all right now there are multiple ways to actually approximate this thing uh, and this thing so basically w given so this thing is basically we can simply use the maximum likelihood estimate so term frequency of the word w in the document oh, sorry in the document divided by the length of the document and this part we can also consider as uh, basically the term frequency of the word in the query divided by the query length and but here we will be doing something different we will try something different in order to approximate this probability and the thing that we will be trying is basically we will be setting the probability to a smooth probability of the docu of the collection pro of the probability of the word occurring in the document if the word is in in the document otherwise we will be basically considering a collection smoothed language model uh, generation probability with alpha d having a parameter so again i am repeating we have two components probability of the words in the theta d which can be approximated using mle of the word in the document and this thing we can consider as mle as well but we will be trying or when this scale divergence based uh, model was proposed uh, the authors tried setting it setting this probability with a smoothed uh, document language model generation probability as well so this is basically smoothed means it is again can, can be considered as mle of w comma d if the word is from the document and if it is not in the document otherwise what we have seen what we have done is theta into probability of w given d plus 1 minus so not theta lambda lambda into one uh, probability of theta uh, probability of w given d into 1 uh, plus 1 minus lambda into probability of w given q sorry w given c this is the collection probability the background language model so this was the smoothing factor we are essentially doing the same thing with a parameter which is similar to this okay now following this alpha d is actually set to a constant like this where this if you compute this this will be always be a probability so i hope you can understand this basically this is the probability of all the terms in the document their smooth probability their summation 
one minus that. And for all the terms in the document, their smooth pro their probability in the collection. This is in the document. This is in the collection. So based on this, this smoothing parameter is set. Okay, and this has been. I mean, following this scenario where we are, what we are doing is we are considering the document language model here as well while approximating the. Generation of the uh, of the term from the uh, from the probability distribution of the query. This has been seen to be performing equivalent to the LM JM similarity that we have defined. All, of course, they will not be providing us the same document score, but they will be giving us the similar rank list. That is, the order will be remaining the same, although this will be providing us with different scores. Okay, 